Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about one of the important project what I have built on on my website, that is Azure Delta Lake using DataBricks and PySpark. So we will be talk about what is the architecture of the project, what you will be getting in the project, and what type of data we will be dealing in this project. And if you haven't Watch my, watch my website, I would suggest go and check out my website. There are around 11 to 12 courses hosted on that platform and you will you will love all the courses. And if, if you have taken any of the courses and if you want a promo code, then you can message me on my WhatsApp, on LinkedIn or you, you know, you know, uh, on my YouTube channel also. I will give you a promo code. I will try to give you a promo code. Okay, if you have taken any of the courses in the past. So let's get started for today's video. So here I'm sharing my screen. Here you can see this is the architecture of the uh, of my project. Okay. So here what we will be doing. See, here we are getting the data from Azure Data Lake Gen 2, Azure SQL, APIs and blob storage. Right. Here you can see we have multiple sources, multiple type of files. We have it like we have JSON kind of data. We are getting packet files of data. We have we are getting CSV files of data. We are getting SQL tables. We are getting you know data from the API and in the form of TXT files also we are getting from the Gen2 storage account. Right. Now you can see all these sources we have it. Now we will we will try to get these data into our delta lake okay that is our branch layer so you can see i have written here raw, la uh, raw layer so with the help of data breaks using pyspark spark spark sql commands i will be you know fetching these data into our delta lake that is a raw container or we can say a branch container cool so once it is done and also here we are doing two kind of things one is batch processing second one is spark structure streaming okay so some of the courses some of the sources we are doing batch processing and some of the sources we are doing spark structure streaming also here we are doing two kind of loads one is full load and second one is incremental load so actually basically what happens you know we are taking all the data whatever the present in source putting into our raw layer and on top of raw layer we are cleaning the data right on top of raw layer we are cleaning the data whatever we have sourced from the you know whatever we have sourced from the source layer right and then on top of that we are doing cleaning and incremental load so in the cleans layer in the cleans layer or we can say in the silver layer we will be doing a we will be doing an incremental load here correct also this is called a silver layer and also we will be removing du duplicates we are checking the you know the schema whether the schema is correct whether the data is correct on other stuff other validation stuff we also be doing in this layer after that we have some business logic we have to add some business logic right so those things we are doing into our published layer or we can say gold layer here we are creating our dimension, snowflake schema, star schema, making fact dimension, I mean fact tables and you know making some business logic, adding some logics and so on. Once it is done, once it is done, we have to send data to our end users, right. Also in this project, I have included a, you know, a snapshot of Power BI, I can say I just told you that how we should use a power bi in this project you know how we can import the data from databricks delta lake and you know put it into a power bi create a simple dashboard out of it you know just just for sampling purpose and once it is done now you can assume i am a owner i am a business owner i want some data from you you are processing the data i do not have access on my power bi i do not have maybe you know some access on access on on databricks also i do i i do not know databricks i do not know sql queries but i want some kind of data into my email box so that i will read and i will anal an analyze it right now automatically what i want from you that hey once my published data has been completed or where, once the business logic have been processed right once the fact and dimension have been processed 
give me that data into my email box in the form of excel csv whatever so those things we are doing in the send data files to end user process and we have written pure python in some of the cases you know we have written uh, spark sql or you know sql but in mostly case i have used only pyspark and python nothing else apart from this what we have done we have also try to schedule a job using workflow in databricks also we have done some, we have done some validation checks data quality checks in this project now we'll talk about the modules so this is my project this is my website geekcoders.co.in i hope you are aware about it this is the project build real time delta project using pyspark and spark sql with databricks so all these are introduction now this is the course curriculum so course curriculum we totally we have two modules and 64 sessions eight all, almost 19 hours of content present in this course so first i have talked about what is the syllabus some introduction of the of this course right and what is delta table how the delta table works what is you know generate columns read the table write the table replace where delta delete up delta table what is vacuum what is up sub command merge statement restore delta table to previous versions and other stuff i have you know just explained in this module in the first module if you are also i mean if you if you know all this stuff you can skip this part right now we have another a part that is module 2 here i have explained end to end project it is of having close to 14 hours of content right here the first video i have explained the architecture what i have explained in in the you know in the before that i just explained in this uh, in this video also but in just you know in a expanded way not in a very brief way now we have the data right now we have to put that data data into a so system so that i will make that picture right so i have explained you everything what is scope right about how to get scope how to get mount point then what is db utils command and other stuff i have told you in these 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 things now you can see read excel file and write in delta lake improve versions read excel file and write in delta lake branch layer read csv file packet file text files write in delta lake read sql tables from azure sql read data from api read csv file using spark file streaming add file name and insert load time framework to validate schema across all the sources improvement on ingestion cleaning raw tables like part 1 part 2 part 3 then you can also see the no, the hour the duration of one video you know it is around 20 minutes 40 minutes 15 minutes and so it is not like you know 5 to 10 minutes ka video okay then improve validation framework and create raw table improve replace where while writing data into delta lake we do not know when to use delta lake i mean when to use a place where command right how we can create a dgl how we can automate the dgls right improve merge logic and automate the flow fix small file issue in raw and clans layer when we dump the data you might be aware about there are you know the by default there are multiple small files being generated in the delta lake or into into a data lake storage accounts we need to club those small files or fix those small files into a bigger one so that the processing will not take too much time right so those things i have told i have explained you via two way via the databricks databricks advanced feature as well as we have some we can also do via manually right do i mean to do some code and stuff so i have also told you that those two ways not just write a formula and you know ho gaya not like that then we have you know create fact tables create dimension tables set up workflow and job in data breaks why we should use vacuum or when we should use vacuum right those things we do not know then we have set up git repo in data breaks create views import in power bi to visualize the data update workflows update workflow part 2 distribute data files to end user using python that is a python python you know script by which we are sending the data into our into you know into the gmail or outlook whatever it is right so this is what it is right and 
also you can watch out this video to just get a better understanding right here you can watch it this is a free video now any doubts i hope that you are clear with it also if you have any doubt if you want a promo code if you want anything other stuff right if you have some uh, some doubt whether i should take this course or not you can click on this contact us button it will land you in a whatsapp right and you can message me anytime also if you do not want wish to take this course let me introduce my website also in this uh, video itself this is my website this these are the courses which i have launched till now on my website first one is python interview question this is a free course and, and another one is databricks spice spark real time scenarios you can see 63 learners have been an, an enrolled in this course we have another one solve real time scenario problem using logic app 34 members have been enrolled in this course then solve real time scenario questions of azure data factory 23 members only enrolled till now we have master in git and github with linux basic 25 learners has en enrolled in this course we have this course around 146 members have enrolled in this course even though the fees is little bit high and you know people are liking my course you know that's to that i mean this a, that's a good part just not a like you know 99 or 299 wala course so fees is little bit high even though people are you know loving my course that's a very you know good part for me then we have pyspark interview series 255 people have enrolled we have master in python 129 people have enrolled then we have databricks and pyspark this is a free course here 778 people have enrolled basic of azure data factory 738 people have enrolled and we have build end to end data project this this is one of the very famous project what i have built till now and launch on my website that and here you can see 562 members have been enrolled in this course cool i hope abhi samajh mein aa gaya hoga aap log ko right so all these things see all all these things are very important if you are preparing for interview i am not saying if you if you you know watch my videos if you build my project you will land up a very good job you will you know get like 20 30 40 lakhs ka package no i am not promising you but i am saying if you build this project if you you know watch my videos you will at least have some sentences some words you know to explain in your project also you can also you know build the same thing if you are working in a, your current organization and working on azure databricks or you know uh, uh, azure site azure data engineering site there are many things which i have told to automate the stuff see we know the process but we are not applying those process sometimes right we are not utilizing we are not reducing the you know number of resources in our project how we are not you know automating the stuff we are not reducing the cost of the resource and other stuff so those things i try to you know explain in during you know, i mean via this projects so i am not saying this is a 100% uh, you know very good project but at least you will get better knowledge from the udemy or any other website courses because this is i have put my four years of experience in this in these two projects right so it's going to be very good and i hope you have liked it till now 90% learners have liked it they have just given me 4.8 4.9 ratings that is cool because i get, i i cannot guarantee 100% you know <laughs> 100% result you know so yeah that's what that's set for today's video or this video and i will be giving a link in the description box if you wish you can go and take this course otherwise no problem i hope you are liking my content chalo thank you bye bye